So I want to talk about this situation with over 30 kids went missing in a two week period in Cleveland, Ohio. And this was back in June. And I truly believe that the reason that they're not going to be able to find these children is falling on leadership because they're blocking the ability to bring in special task force. So I want to go back to a case in 2021 and I also want to talk about the statistics of the amount of children that are recovered as was reported in 2021. Look at that. Okay, so it talks about the amount of children in 2021 reported 19,000 people went missing, 2,500 less in 2020, 14,000 the missing individuals were children. According to authorities, 97% of the children were safely recovered in 2021. And then you go down here and you look at this 45 missing children found by U.S. Marshals during an operation. Okay. That was aired in the news on 2020. They located 45 missing children in one operation. So in this interview with- There is a desperate search underway uh, for child- the, the leaders regarding the missing children, they're, very, they're being very um, minimizing claiming that it's just, they're calling it an uptick, okay? They're, they didn't release any racial data. They didn't give names. You know, when you go to Walmart or different specific places, you will see a whole wall filled with pictures of children, their names, their information, their, their, um, their date of birth the date they went missing. There's not a single name of a child that has been missing. There's not even descriptions of children for people to look for in, in these media accounts anyways. And there's this claim that there's very few pictures. And what pictures were prevailed, what did show, they were all one race. And I just don't understand why they're not calling in. I, I don't know if it's just a pride thing or they're just feeling like, well, if they call in, you know, special, um, you know, they call in special Most people requests or assistance. Will it make them look bad? I'm not, I don't know what the problem is. All I know is, is this is not, in my opinion, just an uptick. You can do your research. You can go and look and look at the statistics and look and see how many children go missing from that particular city within a year and you, you know, you just calculate and find the average. 30 children and not a very large city in less than two week period of time is not an uptick. That is highly tragic. Okay, and it's sad the amount of children that do go missing, okay, but to just, to not call in special task force, to not even consider whether or not, but just to say, oh, there's no evidence of anybody's targeting our kids, there's no evidence of, you know, they don't think it's like trafficking. How do you know? You have no idea what's happening to these children, so how are you just going to be dismissed? That's my problem. If you don't have the answers to know where they are, I'm sorry. That's not an uptick. But it's just their minimizing conduct that is frightening. And, and then you see, you go back and you look at the past. What was the recovery rate for Ohio? And you have 97% of missing children were safely recovered mm -hmm. that's 97 percent people so very few were not recovered i'm just like 
then just just to act like 30 children in less than two weeks in one small city and and just that's not a reason to call in a task force I, I just I, I really have a problem with that and where are the voices of the families where are the voices of the families of these 30 children why are they not talking in the media why are they not interviewed i don't hear anything silence from 30 families let's let's take one example okay i've been looking at this dior kunz case you know back happened back 2015. Um, you just pick a specific kid that gets lots of media of attention for being missing and this literally has not one single family member. Not one single family member's voice. How does it feel? How are you coping? Where are they? Where are the families of these missing children? Why are their voices not being heard? Where are they? I, I don't understand. Are all these kids come from foster homes and they don't have parents? I doubt seriously that 30, a total of 30 children don't have family members who's crying out for their disappearance. I just don't believe it. So this is just very bizarre. It's just bizarre. And I'm asking you to one, share this video or share this, you know, this issue, whichever, pray about this and call out for the families. Where are they? Where are the families? I, I can only imagine that they're probably going to the media or they're going to the city, they're going to the officials and they're complaining about their missing children. I can only imagine that there's some upset family members and upset parents, but you're not seeing them or hearing from them. You don't hear their names? And all you hear is there's no pictures? There was one video that had some pictures and they were all one race. And and they're just, but this guy here, he's trying to say there's nobody's targeting their kids. Nobody's targeting their kids. Really? Yet there's not one family member in a media interview talking about missing their kid not one and yet you have national attention on one single kid that goes missing they make a big old case out of it so it could be big media stories about who's to blame for a missing kid right you can find lots of cases like that but 30 kids go missing and there ain't a single parent being interviewed by the media talking about their missing kid people have you had any thoughts about this I have I find it just to be bizarre what do you think can we just call out and say hey these kids need more uh, attention where we want to hear from the families are they are they being addressed fairly by the representatives there are they being taken care of are they getting fair treatment? Why, why, I bet maybe every single person of the 30 kids missing of their parents, maybe every single one of them, none of them wanted to be in the spotlight of the media. Bizarre as that would be, I would imagine at least one of the family members would want to talk about their missing kid so people would be looking for them, right? I think that this should be national news they should have all the family members up there saying, hey, help us. All of our kids are missing. Bring in the task force. Do something. Do more. Why is all of our kids missing in less than two weeks? And yet in 2021, 97% of the children were safe to be recovered. What is going on? Oh, my goodness. Please. Please, people, have compassion. Share this. Reach out. If nobody will speak up for these family members whose apparently their voices ain't being heard, you can demand that they need to do more.
they got to bring in a special task force, whatever, but they're trying to minimize the heck out of this, and that's just doesn't feel right at all.